Greetings, everyone. This is I'm Right. I'm Right. And I'm Jill Cox Cordova. I'm Anthony Cordova. And we are Mr. and Mrs. Cordova. <laughs> we are Mrs. Mrs. and Mrs. Cordova. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. 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 Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Mr. <laughs> we hear Mr. <laughs> Okay. Our anniversary is April 29th, and it's Yay! our 15th anniversary. Oh, that is so cool. That's so cool. 15 years. 15 years. I've never been married 15 years Nor before. Nor have I. <laughs> <laughs> this is a first for me. first for me, too. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you also. You just... You, uh, you are just as beautiful as the day I met you. Aw, thanks, baby. You're welcome. And you're just as handsome and as nice and kind yeah, just, and big hearted. Just uh, with um, gray now. But 15 I like gray. Years, hey, 15, I didn't have gray hair when I met you. <laughs> but I like gray. You turned me gray. <gasps> you take that back. I did. It, that was not me. You turned me gray. That was not me. I promise that L was li not me. Listeners, listeners, my hair used to be, believe it or not, black and red. You used and to have hair used on my have... head. Yes, but I was I was black, red, and and uh, blonde uh, was my hair color. In my, you know, my goatee and my mustache and stuff like that. Okay. So now all the uh, red and blonde hair has turned gray. But I like gray. I told you, 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 you made me go gray. I did not make you go gray. <laughs> you made me that go was gray. not me. That I promise you, that was a premature, not, a premature gray. Not me. That was not my fault. Yeah, I, I think you did it. No, I think you did it. I did not age you. <laughs> well, we'll we'll discuss that another time. <laughs> yes, that's a completely different episode. But what are we doing this, this week, week? We would like to discuss what do you give. The person, your loved one in your life, who seems to have everything. It's part of a segment that we call Stand By Your Stance. Hi. Hi, Jill. So what are you getting me for our anniversary? A card. I thought you were going to say a car. <laughs> no. I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> a card, maybe two cards. Yes, you do that sometimes. Yeah, yeah I do that card. sometimes too. But um, but what you like about because I'll give you a card as well is that I can't just give you a card. I have to write something in it. That's what you you have grown to expect. Yeah, because that's what me. you that's what you always do. I don't even know why you even buy cards because <laughs> what you write, I love cards. What you write inside the card is always much better. Than what's written but on the card. But I love greeting cards. Well, okay, but and you, I d and, you could just write me a letter. And during I'm COVID, good. when you know, back when I refused to go to any store, mm -hmm. remember that? Uh huh. I would actually just make you a card. Yeah. With my with you know, it was a homemade card. But I wish I had skills where you know I could create all my cards. You know like that but yeah, yeah but this yeah, one yeah. really looked the cards i gave you that were homemade look like kindergarten projects <laughs> but let's 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 get to the topic at hand so we're not only talking about uh, your loved ones oh, well you can call your friends your loved ones your close yes, friends absolutely. also but you know a close friend or a family member what what do you give that person that just really has everything they have everything they they don't need nor really want for anything so what do you what do you mm, do is for that, that true though well I, just because they don't need something doesn't mean they don't want something yeah but you wouldn't like for that person like to buy them a let's say to buy them a what is something you could even like buy them a television, but they wouldn't be really happy with it because I got tons of TVs. Why are you buy me a TV? Well, you know, I don't need a TV. I don't want a TV. 
Why do you, why do you do that? Well, I think it's a very simple solution. The the solution is whoever you're giving a gift to, they could be the richest person you know and and therefore be able to buy anything they want it for themselves. But sometimes it's always what's the saying? It's the gesture that counts, it's the thought that it's counts. It's the thought that counts. Right. Yes. So when you really know someone, you know what would make them happy? So give them something that would make them happy. It could be as simple as if they love fried turkey. <laughs> if they love fried turkey. Why did I think you were going to bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> I've been then, busy. <laughs> <laughs> then you could give. I'm not. I'm not like pointing fingers. At uh, you. I think you are no, pointing I'm fingers. Not. That was just the first I, example that came. I to mind. think you're pointing. I'm fingers. not pointing fingers. I've been at you. busy. I did not forget. Even bought the turkeys. Yes, you did. And just, but but what I'm saying is when you when you do get a chance to make a fried turkey for someone who really loves fried turkey, they'll be ecstatic. Yes, this is this is true. Yes. This is true. Yes. I've even given um, you know, back in my journalism days, I didn't always like the people I work with. They know that. And <laughs> 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 but sometimes just because, you know, maybe they were having a really bad day and just a really bad time, you know, like day after day, I was like, what would make them happy? And in one case, it was they were a vegan, but they really liked bread. Oh, and so yeah. I got you to make that, that person some vegan bread and yeah. she loved it. And guess what? What? She might have still had some bad days after that, but she was really nice to me. <laughs> and she was someone that had everything. Uh, yes, and all it took was some vegan bread. That's all it took. Yeah, that's well, that's that's true. You know, I, I want to use someone, uh, a family member, as an example. Uh oh. And the family member is your mom. Oh, you're going to call her out. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. All right. This is her. This is her one minute of fame. OK. OK. So your mother. We can, you know, there's times we she's needed a computer. And, and we've gotten her a computer. We buy her computer. Or she, or she may need to update her computer. And she's like, mm, yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> but if we buy her some food, it's like she hit the lottery. Yep. She'll <laughs> she call everybody. Goes... Guess what my daughter and son-in-law got for me? And it's always the food she's most excited about. Ex exactly. So we finally understood that about her. That's so now that's all anybody gives her yeah, is the, the food or gift card to eat. That no, she food. doesn't want a gift card. She doesn't, but, no, you know, but she's, food, she's getting just past food. that. Just yep. give her food. Yep. She's, she's happy. She's happy. That's, that's, that's it. Yes. And you, and you know me, I am I am a person that has, you know, I, there's not much I really need or want. There, but there are a few things. But the few things that I want are like crazy high ticket items. They are? <laughs> like you normally want tools. I want. No, no. I even stopped asking for tools. I yeah, because everybody told you to stop asking no, for tools. No, that is not why. <laughs> I, because as I get older, I, I don't even want to use, use the some, tools, yes. tools. So, you know, I'm you know, I'm getting tired of working on stuff and building stuff. Well, I, well, I don't know. Anyway, but I haven't you been asking. You still like to build stuff if you, I if you had a chance to I haven't. I haven't been asking for tools. But the few things that I, that I do want, they're like... Really high ticket items. Like what? I want a class A R V. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. High ticket item. Oh. I, I would I would like to get a new boat. Another high ticket item, you know. So um uh, True. So um but for me, for me, uh seriously, if if I don't get anything. I'm okay, just as long as you know. If it's my birthday, you know, just say happy birthday to me. I'm I'm happy. If it's even with like Christmas, and and you know, most of our family is this way. Uh, none of us, when we exchange gifts, ask for anything that's 
extravagant or anything like that. Cause it, it, it just, you know, doesn't, doesn't really matter to me that much. Just as long as I know that person's thinking about me, you know, thinking of me, I'm, I'm good. Yes. Cause I, I think with you, even with your, your high dollar ticket items, um, they, they're all things that you're really big on quality of life. Mm -hmm. So an RV would improve the quality of life. A boat would do that, all those kinds of things. So I think most of us who give you gifts, because we still want to give you something, you know, we don't want to just say happy birthday or Merry Christmas. We still want to give you something. We try to do things that, that either you have, as for, because we, it's, that's one thing that's hard in our family is like the older we all get, we, we are, we all do have what we need per se. Mm-hmm. So for most of us, it's really hard to come up with a list like, you know, of things that we want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I, I would agree with you on that. But my thought process with you is to try to, give you things that enhance your quality of life Hmm. or things that I've heard you say in passing. Oh, that would be nice to have that. But no, I don't have the money to just, Hey, why don't you look out in the driveway (laughs) and you look out and there's this brand new RV with the, you know, bow on it. We don't roll like that. (laughs) We don't. Well, no, we need not, to. Not yet. We, we need like to. Yes, that's how we need to roll, Jill. Yep. Yes. Just and, pay cash, you know, done, finished, no notes. Do you know what, uh, speaking of gifts, and this might be a little off topic, but I, I had an aunt, so she's passed, she's long passed away. But her church um, decided that she needed. a a new car. So they bought her a new car, right? Okay. And they gave her the car and then they told her, well, the car note is (gasps) only $350 a month. So (gasps) they gave her a car note too. Yes. They didn't just like go out and buy the car for her. No car note. No, that's not giving you a car. (laughs) That's giving giving you a a car note. That's right. Oh my goodness. Uh, so um she told him, No, I don't want this car. I didn't ask for this car. Yes. I don't need, Why would I don't you need ask a car note and, and give someone a car note? Why would you do that? People do that. Wow. <laughs> That's not the first time I've heard that type of story. So um, were they like did they have an attitude that yeah, she they didn't had accept bit, it? Yes. Yeah, they had a they were really upset with her. Wow. So Don't give someone a (laughs) gift that they have to pay for, okay? That's That's not a gift at all. Exactly. Wow. You know, that's like I wouldn't want you to show up with an RV, say, hey, look, look, I got you an RV. And then you tell me, oh, the note's only $1,500 a month. (laughs) No. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a reason we don't have an RV yet. There's a reason she didn't have a better car. Mm-hmm. My goodness, that is not a gift at all. Not, not at all. It gave her a bill. Wow, <laughs> wow. Well, for for me lately, uh, I have been expressing things that I want, and all of mine relate to expanding my creativity or returning to my creative outlets that I used to have, like music. Mm-hmm. You know, like lately. Uh, listeners may have known that a few years ago I asked for a flute for Christmas, which you gave me. I sure did. And <laughs> I don't, I still don't know how to play it. I I tried to, to watch some videos of instructors online. Mm-hmm. So I know part, I know the, about the parts of the flute. I know how to put it together. That's good. That you have to stuff. put it together to play it. Yep. And I, I know how to blow into it now. So I just need to continue with that to learn the notes and, and all of that. But I would really like to return to my piano uh, because I used to be a really good pianist and I'm not anymore because I don't play every day. I lost, I lost that. 
that ability because I used to play every day. You still can play. It takes me a really long time to figure out what note is that, you know. Well, um, you, well, you know, Jill, you're you're a little older uh, now. Uh, don't go there. <laughs> you, you, don't you go there. You are a little older, and as we get older, our brains this has start nothing to do with my a age. Little bit slower, just a little bit slower. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it takes Sweetheart? a little bit Sweetheart? longer for us to get a grasp of what we're trying to do no it's just that i forgot how to to read music on on the the bass clef so i need to remember how to learn how to read music and then i can play it um right hand i've never had a problem left hand i always had a problem Uh, so uh, i just need to return to that and play every day like i used to my mom used to make me when when i first started taking piano lessons at five She made me play every day for an hour. And I was just like, what is with this woman? Like, why? (laughs) Who who plays the piano for an hour? And I did not understand her. And so I would like, you know how little kids do. Is it time yet? Is it time yet? Mm -hmm. Is it time yet? So um, I finally just, but the more I just like accepted the fact that she was going to make me play for an hour. Yeah. I started really enjoying the piano. And Uh then I would, you know, get into a zone and I could play much longer than an hour and not even think about it. So, and then as I got older and still, and still played an hour, it became my, my, uh, what I would turn to for stress relief. Okay. You know, that's wonderful, Jill. That's, I'm really happy to hear that, but isn't this, isn't this podcast topic gifts? Yeah. (laughs) So the point is, so because is you went point? off on a t- tangent no. about my age, the 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 point, no, the point is, is the point. <laughs> I can't believe you. You just, wanna, you yeah. just sh- shush me. <laughs> That's all right. I had to reel you in, sweetheart. No, I, I was reel, getting to I, the point. Really? The point the is. The point is. The point is. My my latest wants of gifts are things that relate to returning to that so i would like piano lessons again i would like flute lessons i would like a saxophone but in order to do a saxophone i need lessons because i've never you know played a horn listeners jill has a long list of gifts (laughs) (laughs) but someone for someone that says oh i don't really want anything you you want a saxophone you want a harp you I want- do want a harp. Harps are beautiful <laughs> instruments. But but I'll master the piano again first. And then we could go to the flute because I already have those two yeah. instruments. Yeah. Then we can add the saxophone and then finally the harp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. At least yeah. I didn't talk about writing studio. Yeah, you want that too. You want to write a studio. You want a lot of stuff, actually. I do. You, you want to, but, so you it know, would be very easy to get me gifts that I would really like. That that is that is true. If you yeah. know who, if you know me at all, you the, you know where that is true. where my wants are. But you know, I wonder what our what our listeners. What are what do you think our listeners are like? Do you think they just like getting a extravagant gifts for the most part no or i think most they... of our our listeners they may have extra like you you tell me all the time i have expensive taste yeah the stock the stock <laughs> dropped you the, the stock the stock the stock the stock, the stock dropped you in kentucky but the stock was supposed to drop you in new york city i don't know if that's on the true. upper east side I just have ex- I I got my expensive taste from my grandmother. Uh-huh. She she liked expensive taste. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You know, she, she, she liked she, she liked expensive she, taste. Yeah. But uh-huh. people uh-huh. that I say have expensive taste, it's not that they have to have this designer or that name on it. It's just that they their quality quality, quality is of, of clothes, is high is, and yeah. it just happens to be expensive. Yeah. That's how I am. I I I could look at something like, "Oh, I really like that." And never know the price until later. This is yeah. Yeah. You know. Is, so This is true. So I think that our our listeners, I think they all have excellent taste. 
Um, but in terms of what they need or want, no, I wouldn't say that that any of them so, that we know of is so extravagant. okay. Let's let's. I'm going to use myself as an example. Um, I used to uh, wear very nice suits. Well, I still have some very nice suits. Okay, um, and um, so this particular time. This person knew that I really did like suits, nice suits, nice suits. Yes. So this person decided they would buy me a suit. A nice suit? Oh, no, it was not a nice suit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like one of those deals where you can get, you know, uh, three suits for a hundred bucks or something like that, you know, they, oh. they, they, the, the suit was hideous. Now, and what did you do? Now, when you received now the, the question is, do I just accept the gift and say, thank you. But if I just accept the gift and say, thank you. Oh yes, this is what I've always wanted. And then the person wants me to wear that suit. Oh. <laughs> And I knew I wouldn't have worn it out in public. I, I wouldn't. I, there's no way I would have worn that suit. And, Maybe that's and, all that person could afford. They knew you liked suits, but that's all they could afford. Well, I did say thank you. You did? But I said, you should take this back because I'm never going to wear it. <laughs> and, and what did they say? Were they offended? What's wrong with it? So I pointed out what was wrong <laughs> Did you say it was cheap? Yes. <gasps> you used the word cheap? <laughs> oh, we should do a part two of this episode. What to say when you get a gift that you really don't like? Yeah, because you may, you know, if, if that's a person that's like in your life on like a, in a daily basis, it, yes. it's better to be, I think, to be honest about it. You know, some things you can say, okay, thank you. And you, you know, thank you. And you may not ever use it. That's that's one thing. But when it's a thing that they'll buy for you, like clothes, and then they expect you to wear it. And mm, now I, I have to draw that line. But there's still a right and a wrong way to tell someone you don't like the gift that they just chose I, for I you. I said thank you first. Yes, sweetheart. But there was one time I gave you something. Yeah, I remember. As, I remember exactly what you, you gave me. And you did not me. tell me in a nice way that you didn't like it. You, I, it, it, it I was, wondered what I was going to do with it. But you, there was a nicer <laughs> way that you could have. We could have had that whole conversation. <laughs> there was I for did, sure. I did not understand that gift. But you. But since then, you're right on the mark. <laughs> Well, you're right. It did change me. Exactly. Exactly. So, yes. But there so, was still a nicer the, way you could have done that. But the that. gift you gave me, I never would have used. Ever. Ever. You could have said, instead of saying that, because I'm pretty sure you that is what you said. I will never use this <laughs> gift. Ever. What were you thinking? That's what you said. Yes, because. You but know, you could have said, oh, sweetheart, this is not what I meant. This is not what I wanted. I never said I wanted anything like that. Okay, okay. L listeners, this is what Jill gave me. Okay. She gave me now this is this is quite some time ago. So when we were dating. So it was a it, We weren't it, even married. It was a translator. It yes, was a translator. Because I thought for, we were gonna go for, you know, to abroad and you would you, because you were always asking me to teach you French, so yes. I thought, oh well, if you had but, a translator, you could just. But it use was a, it. But it, it was, didn't work the way you would you would have liked. Yeah, see, nowadays, you know, you can have a translator in your phone and speak into your phone, and it'll come out in right. in the other language. Now that would have been great. But they didn't have that back then. No, you had to type everything in, and and I type. I, I can't. I barely can text. <laughs> <laughs> so, and 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 I wasn't planning on you know it, it would have been one thing if if we you know had booked this trip you know 
and we were going to go. But no, it was nothing even on the horizon that we were going to go to another country. Well, the reason I gave it to you is because you that was still at the time that you thought vacations were overrated. So I was trying to get you used to the idea of traveling. <laughs> but anyway, let's get to our second segment that we call. Give it a rest and a resolution. Conclusion, resolution. What do you give the person who seems to have everything? Well, really... I think you should really know that person. If you really want to give them a gift, really want to give them a gift. And if you're unsure of who that person is, maybe you need to have some more conversations with them and really ask them some questions because maybe you don't know that person as well as you think. Right. So, And I would, I echo that sentiment and I would just add, pay attention. Yeah. People always give you, always show you who they are. Yeah. They might, now, some people might be deceptive about that. <laughs> <laughs> but until you figure that out, people give you clues about who they are and what they like. Yes. So, so listen. pay attention. Yeah. All right. Let's get to our third segment that we call I'm trying to help you. Advice? Mm, I think I'd like you to go first this time. Do you have any advice? Well, it I, I feel like we're a bit repetitive, but my advice is um, even you don't have to wait for a special occasion to give someone a gift. Gifts are supposed to show that you care and that you're thinking of them. So mm-hmm. even if you just go to the grocery store and while you're there, you see that something that person likes is on sale. Get it. Well, um, <laughs> well, Jill. Well, well, well. What's your advice? I, I, I don't I, understand I, what you're I saying. I don't. I don't think. I don't think I have. I'm I'm adviceless. I have no advice. <laughs> I have no no advice. I had some What's advice. What's wrong with you? But I have no advice now. You 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 put you put my brain into a freeze. All the gears uh froze up. And I'll tell you why after the episode. <laughs> I so have no what's idea our, what's happening. What's, uh, what's our last? Um, what's I don't our, know what's happening. What's, what's our, happening right now? What's our last segment? <laughs> our last segment that we call. So what, what do, do you think? think? What, what do, do you think? think? Because I'm right. Because I'm right. We want to hear from you, listeners. Since Tony didn't have any advice, maybe you do. So tell us what your advice is about what to give someone that seems to have everything. Yeah. And, and that number to call is 404-594-2247. Yes, but you don't only have to comment on this episode. You can comment on us. Or anything. you can wish us a happy anniversary. Hey, and by the way, we still want to get invited to a Zoom by one of our listeners. To a Zoom? Yeah, Zoom meeting, you know. Yeah, oh, where they gather talk, their yeah, their friends all, and yeah. family, and we just talk about relationships. Yeah, whatever they want to talk about. They are, or no, any question they want to ask us. You know, they they, they might want to ask, "What kind of underwear do I wear?" I, I don't know. I hope that's not <laughs> what they want to ask. <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely time to end this episode. <laughs> you have been listening to I'm Right. I'm right. I'm Jill Cox Cordova. I'm Anthony Cordova. Shout out to Gifford Ivan Cordova III for the music. Nick Zinke for the art. And shout out to Diane, too. Diane Simpson. Hey, Diane. Anniversary card. Thank you, Diane. Thank you. We loved it. Especially me. (laughs) All right. Well, that's it for this episode. Okay. Enjoy your day. Thanks, everybody. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.